Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 3, Introduction to Functions, part 3. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to working with dates in SQL and use the date functions in SQL. The default display and input format for dates is DD, MON, YY, YY. However, the Oracle database stores dates internally with a numeric format representing the century, year, month, day, hour, minute, and second. So the valid Oracle dates are between January 1st, 4712 before Christ, and December 31, 9999, and Odomani. This represents the range of dates that you can store successfully in an Oracle database. SysDate is a date function that returns the current database server date and time. We can use SysDate to display the current date, usually used with the dual table. The date data type always stores year information as 4 digit number internally, 2 digits for the century and 2 digits for the year. In previous version of Oracle database, the century component was not displayed by default. However, due to changing business requirements around the world, the 4-digit year is now the default display. We can do a lot of things with dates. One of the examples is by using arithmetic operation. We can do a lot with date functions. The first one, if you want to know what is the system's date, we can select this date from the world. Why from the world? Because this is not coming from any table. So if we execute, the default date format is DD. M O N Y Y Y Y. So here, if you take a look, we get 10 April 2020. We also can do some arithmetic operate operation with dates. For example, here, select last name, higher date, higher date plus 60. So means we want to, to add 60 days to the higher date. So if you execute here, 17 June 2003. Uh, the after 60 days will become 16 August 2003 and you also can do some uh, minus operation for example sys date sys date minus higher date if we have date minus another date we will get number of days so if we execute this SQL we will know that King has been working for 6,142.5 days in the company. Okay, so you can you can do uh, if you have date minus a date operation, then you will know you get number of days. So this number of days can be converted to become week. So in one week we have seven days. So what we can do? Six date minus higher date divided by seven. So then we get number of weeks. Okay, so if you execute this one, so number of weeks that King has been working is 8,000, sorry, 877 uh, uh, weeks that King has been working inside the company. We also can convert to become month. So I mean, in one month, roughly we have 30 days. So we can do C state minus high date divided by 30. So this is we get number of months King has been working then how to convert it to become year six date minus higher date divided by 365 365 because in one year we have 365 days so we will know king has been working for 16.8 years already inside this company there are a lot of date functions the first one is months between to find number of months between two dates we have add months, add calendar months to date, next day, next day of the date specified, last day, last day of the month, round, we can round the date to month or year, and trunk, we can trunk a date from uh, month to year. Let's take a look at months between. Okay, so first, before that, remember just now, we have, if you have a date minus another date, we'll get number of days. If we divide by 30 or 31, we get number of months. So for this example, as I said, King has been working for 198 months. But somehow we know that this calculation might not be accurate. Why? Because in some months, there are 30 days. In some months, we have uh, 31 days. 
and sometimes in February we have 38 or 29 days. So it is not the exact 31. So that's why we have a function of months between here. Okay, months between cis date, high date, uh, to get the number of months between these two dates. So if we execute here, we will see actually King has been working for 201 months. So of course, these months between will give you more accurate number of month, months compared to C state minus high date divided by 31 or divided by 30 here. So if you take a look, you will have, you still have a different, different uh, answer here. So the correct one, you should use months between. And sometimes, maybe you want to find employees that has been working for three years, more than three years, for example. Okay, more than three years. So what can we do? That's our condition, isn't it? Okay where months between months between cis date oops sorry months between cis date and higher date greater than 3 years means how many months 36 months so months between cis date minus higher date greater than 36 means we want to find all employees that has been working more than 3 years so if you execute this one and this is the answer that we will get or if you want to do some calculation here, divide by 12. What does it mean here? Because in one year, there are 12 months. So if we execute, so this person has been working for 16 years, 14 years, 19 years, and so forth. Let's take a look at the second function, which is at months. So now we take two arguments, one a date and one is a number so it will return a date with the number arguments added to the month component of the dates for example select six date add months six days six date 12 so it means we want to add 12 months to the six date it means next year so if we execute this one we will get now 10 april after we add 12 months it will be 10 april also but in 2021 so if you want to add six okay so what does it mean six date plus six months so if we take a look here what we will get 10 October 2020 is six months from now. So now let's take a look at next day. Next day means we want to find what is the next uh, specified day after the date that we specify here. For example, next day, six date, Saturday. So means we want to find the next Saturday from six date. So if we execute this one, now it's 10 April, the next Saturday will be on 11 April because why today is Friday then of course tomorrow is Saturday then the date for tomorrow is 11 April so what if I want to find Friday since today is Friday so when is the next Friday of course next week so what is the date for next week it will be 17 April 2020 the nearest Friday from today's date is 17 April 2020 let's take a look at last day Last day will return the date of the last day of the month for the date argument. So in our date argument here, we put six date. So today is 10 April. So if we want to find what is the last day in April, we can use last day uh, function here. Last day from six date. So if you take a look, today is 10 April and the last day is 30th April. Round and trunk for dates can be either for month or year. If we round or trunk a month, the result will be first day of current date's month or first day of next date's month. For example here, let's take a look at round with the month. Select last name, higher date, round higher date to a month from employees where last name in, Favier, Higgins, Sierra and Himuro. So if we execute this one, let's take a look at Favier's higher date, 16 August. So we want to round this 16 August to month. So if you take a look, if you have the day is 16 and above, it will go to the next month. Okay, the first day of the next month. So if you take a look, 16 August here, first day of the next month is 1st September. Take a look at 7 June. This is not 16 and above. So it needs to go to the first day of the current month, which is 1st June 2002. Same goes with Himuro. 15 November. It is not 16 and above. It will go to 1st November 2006. Then 30th September. For 30th September, since it is 16 and above, it will go to the first day of next month. September, the next day is the next month is 1st October 2005. Let's take a look for the same uh, employees. However, right now we are using trunk. 
we trunk the month. Remember, truncate can never go up. So means the result will always be first day of that particular uh, current month. So if we execute here, 16 August, we still have, we, we will have 1st August. 7 June, 1st June. 15 November, 1st November. Even 30 September, this is the last day inside September. It will always go to 1st September 2005. So that's truncate. If we round or trunk for year, the result will be the first day of current dates here or first day of next dates here. So if we take a look at this example, select last name, higher date, round higher date to year from employees where last name in Feviet, Higgins, Sierra and Markle. So if we execute this one, for Feviet, 16 August 2002, since August past July and above, then of course, it will go to the first day of next year, 1st January 2003. If we take a look at Higgins here, 7 June. June not past July, isn't it? So it has to go to the first day of the current year. So means the result will be 1st January 2002. For Markle, March, not past July also. So it will go to the first day of that current year, means 1st January 2008. And for Ciara, it is 30th September 2005. September is past July, so means we can add a new year. So means the first day of next year, 1st January 2006. It is a little bit different for trunk with the year. So if we trunk higher date to a year, then it will never go up. It will always go to the first day of that particular year. For example here, 16 August 2002, it will go to 1st January 2002. 7 June 2002, 1st January 2002. 8 March 2008, it will go to 1st January 2008. Even though it is September, 30 September 2005, it will still go to the first day of 2005. That's truncate. It, the value can never go up, no matter what. That's all for now. See you again in the next chapter. Thank you.